Look at Heidi. Look at. Oh, we're going to have to clean the walls. Here he comes. That was a hit shot. How you doing? Thank you. Hi, Iguana friends. So we're at an HOA. We are allowed to work in this whole neighborhood and everybody essentially knows who we are because we've been working here almost two years. And so uh, the Iguanas are actually kind of few and far between at this point, but there's pretty small guys sitting up here on the roof and we're gonna try to get him. Bottom got That's him. how you do it. Got you iguana. in this tree I literally can only see his eye it's between the green front of the sun just got on him and a dead brown piece you could just see green that is the iguana's head only about 10-15 yards wait where to go there he is Holy cow, that was a head shot yeah, where looking, he had only about a quarter inch of his head exposed, and here he goes. Placement. Got you with water. Alright you guys, I'm filming myself and there he is, I'm going right here on the corner of the roof so when we pull up we're just going to pull up and try to take the shot. Yes we're using the concept light, do not have a way to fill the sniper yet. And there's our drama, right there on the corner of the roof. Of course we're out of pellets, so that is oh so helpful, so we're going to be hand loading one at a time, so go ahead and pop this boy off, maybe he'll wait for us, let me load the mag. Look at him just patiently waiting for me, what a good iguana. So his neighbor just called saying they're having iguana problems, ironically. So everybody will appreciate this boy being gone. Going to shoot on the second setting. 13 grain, I mean uh, 18 grain range master. single shot and his tail's poking off so I might be able to pull him down don't have to get out the ladder let's go see
on Cephalite always does it. So I'm filming myself today, so sorry I couldn't get the shot on film. But uh, this iguana was over here uh, trying to dig holes for nesting. You can see where another female has tried to also. She dug through the rocks but hit concrete. And here, this is where another iguana has attempted to make a nest. It's clearly nesting. So this is a female right now that I just shot. And you can see she's bulging with eggs. Those lumps are eggs. This is an egg lump right here. And this is her ribs. Egg lump, egg lump. So I might even cut her open to try to let y'all know how many eggs this small female had inside of her. Got you, Iguana. No laying eggs. Let's see how many eggs this girl's got in her. I'm going to open her up off YouTube. There she is. This little bitty female right here. Fully formed eggs. Let's see. Wow, she's completely full of eggs. She has nothing else to her. One. There you go. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One time I had a female this big. One time I opened up a female this big, maybe a little bit bigger, and she had 45 eggs in her. So. Sixteen is not as impressive as impressive as it can be. Got you, iguana. No laying eggs. Baby iguana on the ground, only about eight yards. Got you, iguana. He's about eight yards away. We have two iguana friends right here on the roof. I'm going to see if I can pop them off. I don't have somebody to film for me. So they're right there. Doing the best I can to get y'all footage. Sitting just outside the people's gate. I am on private property. These guys are about 15, 20 yards away straight away. And another 15, 20 up. Maybe higher. Not good at that estimate stuff. I'll pull out the range finder for you oh, in a second. Going for the lower one first. He's on the left. Got you, Iguana? That was 18 uh, grain pellets. One on the roof. Oh, there's two! I'm gonna shoot through the chest of the first one and hit the head of the second one. It worked! Oh, that was so messed up, y'all. Oh my god. So the one with the head you saw his tail switch, he's up there, and the one I hit in the chest went around the side. I'm gonna go see if I can pop him in the head now. That was sick. Set on my ladder, carried it up the stairs. Now we're on this crazy roof. Let's go see if those iguanas are waiting for us. Shot three. Sometimes iguanas zombie and get up and disappear on you. Let me go see how many we actually have dead on the roof. I think I see one. This is the one that I shot through one's chest, hit it in the head. There's the second one right there. Let's see if number three, number three was right there on the bush. Hmm. Might have lost number three. Number one, number two, I was way down there. Hmm. Not sure where number three went. I'm gonna keep looking. But 
the chewy iguanas right in the head. Let's see if we can reach this guy. Right in the head, right behind the eye. Dang, there was one more. There he is, he's on the bush. Oh, I don't know if I can reach him. Dang, this might not be safe. All right, here we go. The iguanas are gonna hold the phone for me while I retrieve the last iguana. There he is, right there. Dang, all right. This is scary, look at that. I'm afraid of heights, did y'all know? Here we go, at least if I fall, it'll be on. All right, I got it, one and number three. There's one and two, got number three. Look at this shot, y'all. So it cleanly went in this side. Look how it just blew out the other side. These are those uh, Range Master 18 grain with the dome top. Uh, they're really putting out the iguanas quickly. Um, I like them a lot. I just have to be careful where I'm shooting 18 grain. Got you iguanas. There's one more dead on the ground over there that I shot and a baby that I shot. So we got five here in about mm, 20 minutes. Only because the ladder and stuff takes forever. I'll check out the lumps in this iguana's stomach showing the eggs. You can like almost count the eggs in her belly. See them? The lumps for the eggs at the bottom, that's a pregnant iguana, which is called gravid. Pregnant reptiles are called gravid. G-R-A-V-I-D. Look, that's an egg right there on my thumb. Just hanging over my thumb. She's so full of eggs, you see the exact egg shape right there. Look at that. No eggs for you. Got you, iguana. All right, guys. Um... This is where we actually try to protect the uh, burrowing owls. The ropes are around um, threatened species, so that makes them almost endangered burrowing owls that are here in South Florida. And you can see the iguana out there at the burrowing owl hole. We're still inside the truck. I'm gonna try to go ahead and pull out the gun. These iguanas know me out here and um, are sneaky. Ooh, there's another one. Look at him right there. We're gonna all right, we're going to take a shot at the one on the right, shooting on high power about 30 yards away. Not hitting them. Those were 18 grain range masters. I think these guys are right at 30 yards. Matter of fact, dang, I got a new range finder, but I left it at home. I'm gonna have it for y'all tomorrow. Got two iguanas. Now, whole steel in iguanas. Oh, there's another iguana before we cut it off. Right over here at this hole. I hit the rope. Isn't that stupid? I'm out of pellets. Of course he's gonna run off in that time. I'm gonna load a 
single shot. He's a good 40 yards at this point. Got you, Iguana. Ooh, I hope that was on video. I don't know if y'all got him. He's right there flipping on the ground. Shoot. All right, let's go pick up these iguanas. They should just be laid out. Guns on safety. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, there's more. There's more iguanas way over there. We're going we're, we're gonna to slowly go back to the truck. We're going to see if we can get those iguanas at those holes over there. I see at least two. All right, to the truck. All right, guys, there's two iguanas down there. Just got the magazine reloaded. We're going to try to pull up behind those yellow barriers and see if we can't uh, get these guys right here. By the white pole. Let's see here, there's a person walking back right there we need to be mindful of. Pulling up right here behind. Look at those right there. You see them? Right there at the owl hole. I'm gonna cut the truck to see if it'll hold the camera for me. I think I see a third of one or two sticking his head up just to the right. See him on the right? Here there's a lady that walks behind the back fence. Um, you can see her hat is a light color against the fence. And she's actually walking a dog. Iguanas are very afraid of dogs and will run from at least 50 yards away. So as she walks out of view, the iguanas notice that she has a dog with her and they start to run to the hole. Right before the second one makes it to the hole, I'm able to get a shot off. I see you. I see you. I waited for you to come all the way over here. All right, let's go get the one that didn't go in the hole that we did get a chance to shoot. Then to kind of pull up in the truck to see if those dummies have already started to come out. Sometimes they'll come out right away for you. These iguanas run the owls out of their holes during nesting season, and the females end up abandoning the the, uh, the baby owls and the nests with the eggs. Okay, so I'm trying to get an egg count on females. This is a female that I just shot. She's the biggest one. I'm trying to 
trying to get an idea of how many eggs we're getting out of here. Look, she is completely full of eggs. Her whole body is full of eggs. So this larger female here clearly makes more eggs than a smaller one. So when people do iguana removal and they take out the big ones, they are getting a better result by getting those big females out. So I want to show you all this female is full of eggs. Also ready to lay. All the eggs have their shell. When they don't have their shell, they look a little different. They aren't as white. So on. So I'm going to get a count on these and take a little record down how big the females were. This one's about 10, 12 inches from snout to vent. But this one is a little bit bigger. This one's more like 14 inches snout to vent. And then I want to show you all this one. This one already laid. You can see where her eggs were in this. Um, in, I guess this is the OO duct or something like that probably. Oviduct. And um, this one also clearly is full of eggs as well. I popped one of the eggs by accident. So smaller females are making fewer eggs. Larger females definitely make more eggs. Let's see if I can pull this out in the light for y'all. Get an idea of what she looks like. This one looks like. This is the one that already laid its eggs. You can see the where the eggs used to be. More eggs. So we took out a whole bunch of uh, baby iguanas just now just by getting these four females. Got you iguana eggs. Iguana's right there on the ground. And then there's an owl right here in front of us, burrowing out. They actually dig holes and live in them, burrowing owls. And they're really small, that's an adult. to iguana. Now there's actually another volunteer down there right now. Right there. He's at the other owl hole. So we're going to ride down and try to go get him because this guy's sleeping. So we're not worried about him going anywhere. Let's ride down and go get him. I'm going to cut it off to make my video clip shorter. Right, we're going to get him now. Behind the yellow bunker things like we did last time. Maybe I just chopped the tail off. Jump the rope. Got you, iguana. Got you. Look how fat she is with eggs. No eggs for you. No eggs for you. Let me zoom out. Look at those eggs. Got you, iguana. And we still got our other sleeper on the ground over there. That means only one iguana got away from us. Whenever those two went in that hole, this is probably one of the two. The other one, um, I'll just have to swing back by and hope I catch her. But just pull up to the other spot. Look, this iguana's laying at the bottom of the cross like a rest in peace sort of thing. Got you, iguana. Let's see. 
straight through the ear. I'll take it. It's an iguana hole, not an owl hole. You know, because it's like a T shape. They're flat on the bottom and round at the top. Oh. 